Hello, Mr. Brown here, your science teacher. I make videos for students of all ages. Today, gather the family. We are going to talk about the science of cryptography or making secret codes. Secret codes have been around as long as secrets have been around. Anytime someone wants to send a message but doesn't want anyone else to know what's in the message, you need cryptography or a secret code. Let's go back and look at some really old timey ones. This one is goes back over 3000 years used by Greek militaries. You write the message on a roll here and it doesn't make any sense, but when you wrap the message around a properly sized stick, the message is revealed. Not too difficult to crack this code actually. You just gotta try it on a couple different size sticks and you'll figure it out. Here's another ancient technique is to tattoo the message on the messenger's head, have them grow their hair out, have them deliver the message and then shave their head to reveal it. That's actually pretty clever. Here is an old Civil War era code. Code. Let's see if you can solve this one. Start in the center ring and work your way out. The first letter of the code is Z. So I find Z on here and that codes to a G. All right. Push pause on the video. See if you can figure it out. And it solves to Gettysburg Lost. Back in the 1830s, Morse code was developed, a series of dots and dashes to help send messages over a, the new telegraph system. Morse code is still used today. You can use it by flashing lights as they do in the Navy here. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot stands for SOS, the international symbol of help. This is called an alphanumeric code. Let's see if you can crack this code. I have numbers which link up to letters. Push pause on the video, see if you can solve it. And it solves to science rocks. In the 1940s, the Nazi German army came up with this very difficult to crack Enigma coding machine. All right, just like the alphabet wheels we saw a minute ago the enigma machine has these different alphabet wheels which can be rearranged into different configurations and the back of the machine had different plugins all in all the enigma machine had over 150 quadrillion different possible configurations making it nearly impossible to crack but then the allies they cracked it. They solved the Enigma code in World War II, helping to win the war. <laughs> Funny, ironically today, you can decode Enigma messages using an app on your cell phone. During World War II, the United States never had its codes cracked by the enemy. How did they do it? uncrackable codes of World War II. Well, they went to the deserts of Arizona and enlisted the help of the Navajo code talkers. Using their native Navajo language, they helped win the war with their unbeatable code. Nice job, guys. Here they are at the White House receiving uh, an award for their contributions to winning World War II. After the war, computers started to um, become more important and we used uh, alphanumeric code here called the ASCII where every letter is assigned a number. This allowed computers to talk to each other and exchange information until today when the whole world is connected in what we call the internet. HTML code is a nice code if you want to learn that you can build websites and build apps all sorts of potential applications for this code. This is a fun one called a barcode. This is found on every product in the store. If you've never done this before, ask your parents and see if they'll let you use the little scanning tool at Walmart and go through and find the barcode and scan each one. It's a whole lot of fun. This is called a QR, a QR code. You scan this with a smartphone and it will take you to a website, quick and easy. 
as codes got more and more advanced, someone came up with the idea of cryptocurrency. This is money that is encrypted in a secret code. It's tricky, but the way it works is this is a very advanced secret code. People on the internet compete to try to crack the code. Whoever gets to crack the code first helps the transaction, where the sender and the receiver, they don't even necessarily need to know who they are. And the middleman receives a little bit of money. And so around the world, people will turn their apartments into supercomputers. They'll just take a bunch of regular computers and wire them all together and decrypt Bitcoin transactions. Which got me thinking, what is the most advanced code in the world? And I did some research all over, and you wouldn't believe it, but one of the most advanced computer codes is the algorithm that powers the Google search bar. You've seen this before, right? Yeah, it actually uses some really advanced AI, artificial intelligence, and it learns the more you use it, the more it learns about you remarkable which got me thinking what's the most advanced code in the entire universe that was easy all you got to do is look down right in your own body take a look in your cells crack open the nucleus and you'll find dna deoxyribonucleic acid it only uses four different nucleotides a's and t's g's and c's but it uses a lot of them the dna in your body contains over three billion base pairs so you run the math how much dna is in your body let's stretch it all out and see how far it would go and the math comes out to it would stretch from the sun to neptune back to the sun back to neptune back to the sun <laughs> that's a lot of dna there's so much dna in your body that if it was a book it would take you reading 24 hours a day it would take you 100 years to finish it that, my friends, is the most advanced code in the universe right there. Thank you for joining me today on the science of cryptography. I'm Mr. Brown, your science teacher. Bye for now.